The float plane team worked on a new feature for LTT store, allowing us to embed videos. I suspect this wasn't one that was, you know, like a huge, um, no, a, a huge amount of work, but basically we now have two pages, one for the screwdriver, one for the backpack where we show the full details of these products. These are just in unlisted videos on YouTube and allow you to sign up for an email notification for when these products become available. That's right. They're finally just about here. So Which... just just because I know some people from Shopify watch this, uh, just including the video where the images normally go is actually just supported by Shopify. Cool. All right. Yeah. Excellent. So we are we want to get an idea of whether people are more into the black or the black and orange color. There's still changes that we can make to which plastics we shoot at this stage. I am uh, extremely excited for people to get a chance to really see these products in detail. We haven't really shown them close up yet. Uh, is this uh, is this Andy's B-roll? I think Andy might have done these shots in in if that's true then freaking awesome anyway you can pick a color and sign up to get an email when they're available we still do not do i just don't believe in taking your money for pre-orders uh the reason for that is that there are still potentially things that can go wrong and if we're gonna say don't pre-order anything then we need to i think we need to walk that walk and not uh, solicit you guys to pre-order um, although it certainly would have <clears throat> removed some financial burden from this project. <laughs> Love the bit storage, man. It's freaking awesome. Uh, let's get a closer look. We'll get a closer look at the orange, the orange top here. Absolutely quality plastics and molding. I think the part of the video where I talk about that's a little bit later, but we show how it's basically impossible to find the mold seam on on the handle bit you can if the light's right like you can see it if you know what you're looking for but the average person would not notice it's just a really high quality mold right man that's it right there is it glorious or what do you have one yet no oh man oh man yes it's expensive but there's a lot of things about it that were expensive. There was a lot of tooling costs. Every one of these components is custom. We had to create molds for it. Oh yeah, here's a little here's a little tip, Apple. Um, you know, there are situations <laughs> where there might be a functionality reason that you have to create something semi-proprietary. These bits are 20 millimeter, which is not a typical size for screwdriver bits in a multi-bit screwdriver. The reason we did it this way is that the less steel you have between the shaft magnet and the screw, the stronger the magnetic pull. It's got a super, super strong magnet. Makes sense. And it has shorter tips. So the bits will, I had it happen once now in like six months of using this driver where the bit comes out instead of the bit coming out of the screw like after you've screwed something in, it's really good. Every other multi-bit screwdriver I've ever owned, it's like kind of a problem. It's really yeah. annoying. Yeah, it's really um, And it, you can pick up, easily pick up screws and then you know reposition them when you're building a computer. Obviously it's built for building PCs, right? So we went with these 20 millimeter bits. Uh, the other reason for them was that we wanted the shaft to have a lower profile. And, and to be clear, just because there might be some, mm -hmm. uh, you can use other bits. I'm getting to that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We wanted the shaft to have a lower profile than Mega Pro's other products, but we didn't want to give up the ability to store 12 bits in the driver handle. Now, we could have just not used this mechanism. We could have just gone like snap on and just had a screw off top and you just dump all the bits the inside. Hole. Yeah. But that we we really liked this functionality. It has a really nice feel to it. It's almost like yeah. a fidget toy. Yeah. And we wanted 12 bits. We wanted this profile. And this is kind of an afterthought, the additional magnetism, but it was something I cared about a lot. I, I asked, I asked uh, engineering, I was like, look, uh, specifically Kyle, I talked to about this. I want the strongest possible magnet in there, the biggest diameter. And that was before we even talked about any of this. So we ended up with 12 millimeter bits, which meant that we had to re-engineer something in order to maintain compatibility with standard bits because we care. We had to redo the mold for this in here. It used to be a circle. 
So it actually uh, sat in between the bottom and top bit storage. And the reason for that was to act as kind of a guide to make sure that they would stay in their own lane, right? Okay, yeah. We turned it into what we call the Ninja Star. And the reason for that is that it allows you to put a full length normal bit in here up to 40 whatever millimeters, um, 40 something. Uh, so it allows you to put a larger bit in here if you're willing to only accept six. And it'll just clip in on both the top and bottom pieces here. So you can engineer for improved compatibility or you can engineer for worse compatibility. There are actually two ways to do this. <laughs> Hex dot says Robertson bits, but no torques dot dot dot. We are going to have bit packs available at launch that will allow you to build any bit loadout you could possibly want. We're going to have pretty much everything for it. And they will be very reasonably priced because we know that the screwdriver is already a significant outlay for you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're we're super excited about people being able to have their own custom 12-bit loadout exactly the way that they like it. As for the backpack, yeah, this one I'm super excited about. We know it's really expensive. We are well aware of that. This is a really high-quality bag. I am absolutely jazzed for you guys to see this thing. Let's see if Andy has done any of his a gorgeous a B-roll on this one. Okay. Get that 4K. Oh, yes. You're going to have to watch the video. This one's like nine minutes long to get through all the details of what makes this thing special. But it's just carrying capacity, that's build sweet, quality. Though, if you're interested in this product, like that's exactly what I would want. Yep. I just kind of, I, basically it's a what's in my bag video because <laughs> I've been using our latest sample of it for... I guess not that long for this version of it, but I use every version of it. I just daily drive it so that I can bring feedback back to the team. Hey, this zipper pull is a little bit difficult. Uh, or, you know, I really found I didn't end up using this pocket. If it was easier to reach, that would be way better. This zipper should go the other way. Just little things like that that I try and, try and get back to them about as we have made our way through the many, many revisions of this product. Orange inside, that's for you, Luke. Yeah. I know you're a fan. I actually just love that so much. So yeah, it's $249.99 US. It's a lot of money, but we believe that it's competitive with bags that are a lot more expensive than that. Yeah. 